Hello everyone, new release is out and I'm gonna focus on this video mostly AI. So uh, on this release, biggest, really, uh, biggest features are uh, three topics. SEO settings, now it's possible to completely eliminate SEO plugins as well. We can use our own SEO setup. This is very similar to SEO press and rank map a little bit uh, the templating and stuff only of course like uh, i made it again very very simple if you need a very simple seo settings you just need like uh, meta desk and stuff you just need um, sitemap and stuff i should enable that too by the way that's it like it, this can solve all of that and it has preview options it's possible to see on columns i combine them so they keep less uh, space okay and on top of that we have ai feature let's focus on that a little bit <laughs> yeah why not let's focus on that uh, on the ai feature when we enable the ai feature from the seo settings we have to enable it uh, and after that uh, all of those buttons will show up on the all post types and taxonomies posters post pages Post, custom post types, uh, categories, tags, and all the taxonomies, okay? So all the, like, various content is living, okay? So let's start with this one. Um, so if uh, we, we have to select, for example, uh, this can select single or multiple posts. So, by the way, if you, if you don't know, if you guys knew, uh, we added this AI settings for a while now, but this, setting, uh, this settings only works... Uh, these features only work inside the bricks builder this is the first feature working inside the vp admin okay natively working inside the vp admin and this is just a start by the way so uh, if you guys want to like uh, set up some settings i added this seo uh, as a new preset default action prompt uh, new new preset and don't forget to, of course like you, you guys can use free models from the open router just copy past the open router k or open ai k whatever like all of those models are here okay so let's focus on the feature and let's select something and after we select uh, we need to we can select a preset or we can just um write a custom prompt like make it funny SEO friendly content like we can just say this by the way um, the feature knows how uh, what's the like maximum title can be what's the maximum meta desk can be so we don't have to write those stuff of course we can uh, manipulate it as well so I'm gonna show in a minute let's generate it and after that it will generate and we can of course edit here or if we don't like it we can regenerate it here and we can change our uh, selections and regenerate it again I th we may need to uh, i think we have to click on here when you guys change presets uh, yeah you, ha you have to uh, change all of that okay so i'm gonna improve this little more because i i can think like some edge cases if you guys want to like generate hundred or thousand uh, posts i mean generating hundred is good but don't make it thousand because you have to make this thousand okay and after that you have to select all of them so i mean if you make any mistake you don't want to overwrite and stuff like be careful okay it's very powerful i mean it's just gonna save uh, meta desk and title but still be careful with it okay so of course this can work uh, as a bot generation in here but if you if you want to edit the single post or page and most of the time we will use it like that honestly i'm gonna use it like that uh, the same overlay show up here we just need to click that generate it that's it by the way we can uh, filter stuff like if you want to generate only description that's possible as well we can only generate description it's coming empty because there is literally no content on this draft <laughs> about Sinan and Sinan history. Let's let's make it confusing. <laughs> Who is Sinan? We're probably gonna say like architects in Sinan. Maybe. Let's see. So let's select description only. SEO generate. 
mm, yeah, it is just gibberish because there isn't enough content on the page. It reads the title and the content. And after that, it generates the uh, meta title and desk. For example, let's open something that has lots of content. Yeah, this one looks good. Let's generate this one. Okay, let's only generate desk. Okay, perfect. Let's see. How oh, quite organized. Yeah, looks looks pretty good because I know this post I I write it myself. So yeah, not bad, not that bad. And it, when you guys save it, of course, it's going to save the meta disk. That's it automatically. Okay, let's remove it. I don't want it. So that's that. Let's go to the taxonomy. So most of the time, you guys are going to use the but this button or the single button I just showed, or you guys are going to. There is no bulk generation in here. I am thinking about it. Tell me like if I should add like bulk generation in here, in here as well. Because I I mean, I wasn't sure like if I should add it or not because like if uh, for the taxonomies like categories and terms and stuff, we only have like most of the people only have like names. So that that makes it a little bit harder to generate a description because there isn't enough content. Right, so it it will just like create random stuff. Let's go to the AI, for example. Uh, let's update that, make it empty. Okay, let's generate description only. See, like it is there is only title, and it's gonna generate something random. Let's see. Explore the world of AI, machine learning. I mean, not that bad. It is like a little bit too broad. Yeah, yeah, it is a little bit broad. So, but is possible to generate in here as well so uh, by the way i enable the um, support button okay don't forget to check M like multiple people asked me to enable this honestly and i have done it uh, finally i had to like connect like text account my uh, bank account and stuff like it took some time that's why i was delaying <laughs> all the time but now it's possible to support me so if we reach this goal like it is important for me uh i don't want to give promises but i may like hire a designer and come up with good content you know you know anyway anyway like new ai stuff may come if we reach this goal okay so that's it no promises <laughs> Uh, I, I don't like it because when when I when I give pr promise like people start to expect and stuff I don't I don't want it I don't want people to wait you know that that's why I want uh, I want to just create stuff all the time so and these are the features let's check the couple more change log and oh yeah new custom field added new custom field is you guys know like i hate grouped repeaters like repeater inside the repeater you know what i mean uh, i hate that you don't do that it is not a good idea to do that uh, but i added the double text the double text is just a let's add it on the double text on the codex so we can see it adds literally double text okay it adds double input so on like rare cases uh, we can use this like for we, i mean multiple things like we can use it on the map for example if, if you want to add um, latitude and longitude we can do that uh, like for looping the map open street map i'm gonna make a, a video for that later so that's why I want to add that. I mean, it is possible to make it separate uh, custom fields, but this makes it a little bit easier. And uh, I added this for another reason, uh, my upcoming LearnVP course site. So on the on this course site, I use this double input uh, repeater as a course uh, content. So, so I can like add my chapters easily okay i can add my let's uh, check the already edited one yeah i can add my chapters like that and these chapters will automatically populate so that's why I, I needed this i made the video element completely compatible okay i made the video element compatible mm -mm 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 -mm. let's select an, another video i delete the old one okay 
see like the chapters are showing like that so i think this video is pretty short let's make it this is one minute it's not even one minute that's why okay let's make it 10 let's make it 15 okay perfect let's see it. now see just like the youtube or the any modern uh, video player for video sites so now it is possible to generate the chapters so this uh, the player automatically gets the uh, content from it so one open street map i'm gonna make a video i need to up, maybe update some stuff for the open street map uh, and one for the video player element and video play, player element automatically supports it like uh, checks the current post id and after that if there is a chapter uh, or chapters it checks it literally checks this name okay there is a description here too it literally checks this custom field names if it exists it just populates okay that's why i add it and any more important stuff here yeah, languages and stuff supported now seo feature i already made a video about it i mean i added more features but check it out you guys check it out yourself uh, if you guys find any bug don't forget to come issues and write any issue parent id there is a new dynamic tag for the parent id i added that for example uh, on this here uh, so let's check so it is possible now it is possible to get the parent id i think we didn't have like any parent or stuff like yeah we, we, see I, only my dynamic tags coming up i mean bricks should already edit this stuff i don't know a little bit edge case but still very important uh, and thanks to that thanks to the parent id uh, it doesn't matter if someone is inside the child or not uh, we can get the only related posts on the related courses under that okay that's for that i added that too i mean this website helped so much feature for like i i wouldn't add like half of these features probably <laughs> if i didn't make the learn vp course so that's good uh, yeah some couple people asked um dynamic pdf beaver now it is possible to embed the pdf dynamically uh that's a new element okay that's a new element you guys check it out and uh, no index tag control for enabling post type query what is that oh yeah yeah, yeah. i added uh, for support let's uh, see like it is pretty uh, small <laughs> feature but this is a big feature now it's possible to make completely dynamic open street map it supports the loop okay i added the control directly um i think i built it somewhere anyway check the my latest video about this uh new sport so it's possible to completely query build this map element okay so that's it i think and thanks for watching see you guys on the next video by the way don't forget to sub subscribe the newsletter this only opens once by the way open it on the private tab if you guys want to see it don't miss it See you guys on the next video. Bye.